Hi everyone, Dave here. Uh, just doing a quick um, how-to recipe with chaga tea, making a traditional tea with the chaga, the traditional recipe. And you know what? Uh, if you've got a hectic uh, day, busy day with work schedule, et cetera, et cetera, uh, parenting and all that, um, the easiest way to prepare your chaga tea would be uh, if you've got a slow cooker or crock pot and you've got the low temperature setting that will allow it to be 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You know what? You just add your water, add your chaga, put the lid on it, set the timer. You can do it in the in the nighttime before you go to bed and it's ready for you in the morning. Or you can do it when you uh, when you get home from work in the evening and um, it's very easy to, like I say, this is the easiest way to uh, prepare chaga tea with using a uh, slow cooker. So uh, we'll get to it. I'm going to add probably about uh, four to five of these chunks of chaga and they're completely dried and it's just like a cork. It's, uh, it was drying for about 10 days in a low humidity setting. And um, so I'll use four or five chunks of those. And I'm going to use about four quarts of water. That'll be um, easily enough. I can fill up two of these two-quart mason jars. So we'll get to it. We'll get the recipe in, and I'll share with you once it's in. It's just uh, as easy as that. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got four liters of water in, or uh, four quarts of spring water. I don't use chlorinated water. I use all spring water here where I live. So... But I, I recommend if you can get spring water that's uh, non-chlorinated, by all means do so. Um, and again, the, the important part about using a low setting with these crock pots is reducing, keeping the heat below the point where it doesn't kill and destroy the enzymes that's in the chaga. So we'll go ahead and put in oh, five or six pieces. And they always say the stuff that's got the black is a little more rich in concentration for medicinal ingredients. So that's that. And I just do this just to ensure that they're going to soak up. And what the heck, we'll make an extra strong one. So like that, we take our lid and we'll put the lid on. And as you can see, we're on a low setting. We'll set the timer. There we go, 12 hours. Um, with the low temperature setting, the longer that it's gonna be, um, sim like the longer that you've got it, basically uh, it's, it's gonna take a little more out. So I like to go about 12 hours. Um, like I said, that's on the low heat. You, do, you just wanna steep it. You don't wanna bring it to a boil. If you bring it to a rolling boil, like I say, you're gonna kill the, uh, the enzymes. So. so here we go. And that'll be ready in the morning for my morning chaga tea. I'll share with you uh, once it's ready and how I bottle it off. Stay Another tuned. thing you can do as well is um, they don't recommend that you lock the lids down when you're when you're cooking, but with the low heat and with just liquid, um, if it's not up close to the edge, it shouldn't boil over and you shouldn't have an issue with uh, with with it. But I like to seal up the hole on the vent here. You can seal it with uh, aluminum foil or but just for convenience sake, I took this uh, thermometer and, and it actually fits in there nice and snug. So you can use that and that way it's not going to evaporate uh, over the duration that it is uh, going to be steeping. So you're not going to lose any of your uh, of your water. So just thought I'd share that as well. So here it is. I've got it strained off. I just used a, a tea mug to dip it out and uh, use this strainer here. And you can see a few crumbs from the chaga tea. Um, and what I did, I removed 
the chaga, the chunks. I'll make sure that dries before it goes moldy. You want to make sure that it, you dry it. And you can reuse this uh, four to five times usually um, to get uh, to get your tea before it gets a little bit too weak and uh, the color is not as dark as you can see here. So they should seal on their own. I won't need to refrigerate them. Um, one other thing I should mention with uh, with your chaga tea, not to use any sugar to, to sweeten. The, the flavor is very, very mild actually with the chaga. So I, I don't use anything for flavoring. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of fresh milk just to uh, just add a little color. Um, but if you're going to use a sweetener, I suggest honey. Um, but uh, avoid using any sugar because uh, that will obviously that'll kill the the, uh, the nutritional value, uh, the antioxidants, and everything that's in the chaga. So there it is, a simple recipe using a crock pot. It's uh, like I say, if it's uh, if you haven't got a whole lot of time to prepare, this is by far the easiest way to do it. You can set the timer on a low temperature setting, and uh, this is the finished product right here. As always, take care and thanks for watching.